What's going on, good guys, good ladies, good people? Um, bipeds, tripeds, quads, trans, polys, um, unknowns, question mark, uh, whoever, whatever's entities, beings, spirits, angels, and then sums. Today, we're going to be talking about the separation of powers. All right. But before we get into that, I want to thank everybody for supporting. We are skyrocketing towards 70,000, which means that uh, the next couple of years, we will be hitting 100,000. Huzzah. Huzzah. That is, will be amazing. We'll have to throw a party or something. All right. So, for those people who don't know, Black Site 32 now has a second free file page. Free file page, free doc page, number two. We're just getting started, okay? Filled up the other one. I hit capacity on that one, so now we're on the second page. As always, all materials, files, videos, reach arounds, and whatever else are just educational purposes only. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you, did you say files in there? Yes. Okay, just making sure I heard, my, heard it correctly. So all files are education. We do not take any responsibilities for them. Right, we provide you with tools. What you build with them is on you. Take new legal responsibility, whatnots, whatever, for successes or failures. However, if you do win a multi million dollar suit, it would be nice to get a really lar large payout. Okay, separation of powers. What are they talking about here? Well, from my perspective and thoughts, the separation of powers act is where. All three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial, there is a law that states that no one of these single branches can have exclusive power over you or anything and do all three jobs. The executive is to execute and make it happen. Legislative, they are the ones who write it. And the judicial is the one who judges. So you cannot have somebody who's judge, jury, and executioner. If they do that, that agency, cough, cough, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, child support, uh, and various other agencies, police officers, cannot do all of them. They cannot judge you. They cannot write the code and they cannot execute it. If they do, any of them do all of these things to you, they're in violation of the Separation of Powers Act. Separation of Powers Overview Separation of Powers is a doctrine of constitutional law. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Hear what they said there? constitutional so why is it at the end of the day these lawyers and attorneys and whoever else want to talk about oh common law oh constitution oh no it doesn't apply here because they're in their own little pocket universe and so because it's not used a lot in by the average person does not mean that that is still not the superior power of the land matter of fact without the constitution they couldn't even do what they're doing here they're operating as international agents FARA Act, Foreign Agent Registration Agreement. They all had to sign them to do business right here. Why? Because they're operating international. The government wants to know if you're going to be here operating as an international agent. If they don't have it, now some of them may not remember it, some of them may not have signed it, and some of them may not have signed it properly. Isn't that right, judges? And if they don't have it or it's not signed properly, it's a federal offense. Committed fraud. 
Hmm. It's also treason. Not holding yourself to the oath of office when mentioned. Hmm. So let's get back to it. It's a doctrine of constitutional law. These are the highest laws of the land. It's the highest power. Other than God, let's go. Constitutional law under which the three branches of government, executive, legislative, and judicial, are kept separate. Separate. This is also known as the system of checks and balances, because each branch is given certain powers so as to check and balance the other branches. Each branch has separate powers, and generally each branch is not allowed to exercise the powers of the other branches. Hey, hey! The legislative branch exercises congressional power, the executive branch exercises executive power, and the judicial branch exercises judicial review. So what they're telling you is, this, is that nobody can be judge, jury, and executioner, not the government, nobody. They cannot bring you up on something, charge you with something, convict you of something. Now, if you're talking about when you're in a, in a courtroom, all right, you have to look at it like this. You agree to be a resident and they're going after that account. But they cannot deny you your constitutional rights, but you also have to invoke your constitutional rights. I.e., an example would be like child support agency as an example. Um, do your own research, due diligence. This is just whimsical mind thought. If, first of all, they're not an actual government agency, they're supported by them, but that is not a branch of the government. They cannot say, well, you owe $5,000 in back child support. And then say, if you don't pay it, now we're going to arrest you. And then arrest you. And hold you there. They were then considered judge, jury, and executioner, and they are not the law. So how can they, in places like that, do that, including uh, private police stations? Because you have indicated to them that you are a resident, you are a member of their corporation. Imagine their system like this. It's all around us. Sometimes we dabble in it. Each different location is just a franchise with an invisible connection that when you plug into it and prove residency, which means to reside and enter, you reside it from the Constitution into their jurisdiction. Their jurisdiction is all around you, but you didn't have to be a part of it. Somebody the other day on a consultation was irate and mad. And I listened to him for a good five minutes or whatever it was. And I said, bro, be mad as you want. This is business. This is business, man. Say, but it's fraud. It's this. Woof. It's, uh, uh, you know, you're I said, but did they knock on your door? To make you a resident? No, because then that would be entrapment. That's a violation of federal law. And then if they would have trapped you and done things to you, that's slavery. And if they made you do something, that's peonage. Those are all federal offenses. Because you have the right under the Constitution, which the federal government protects your rights. But they will not protect your rights if you choose to be in their system and you choose to use the benefits. And that's what we've all done. We've been born into it. But I didn't know. Did you ask? At what point in time did you ask? What does me sign? Whoa. I don't, I don't speak that. Before I get this bank account, you want me to prove residency. Well, what does that actually mean on a legal level? Did you do it? No, you didn't. Driver's license. Yeah, I want to drive. Yeah, here's your pen. <laughs> what do you mean I got to prove residency? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Before I buy this house, it says here that I'm the tenant. Mm-mm. 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 I need that rewritten. I need that to say owner.
I'm not the tenant of my own. Uh, why am I? Why would I buy a a? I'm trying to buy something. I'm trying to own it. Why does it say tenant? I need that rewritten. Why? What does that mean for legal reasons? I can make a whole video on that aspect, but it's a little teaser for now. Hmm. <laughs> I already know what that means. <laughs> It's time to play some video games and boys are calling. All right. So that's what I tell you guys. You guys don't understand commerce. They never knocked down your door. You didn't ask the questions. You entered into something. But Wolf, don't they have an obligation to tell me? You told them you were over 18 and competent. But we clearly weren't. They have no legal obligation to teach you about your rights, freedoms, privacies and liberties because those exist in the real world. They're not operating in the world, real world. They're operating in a sub bubble, a, a side universe, a pocket universe that's over the same area that you walk through. You see it? You guys finally starting to get it? The separation of powers means that they cannot be judge, jury, executioner, and all of that, unless you let them. When you let them, that's why they want you to sign and sign it without reserving your rights. Because they want you to play the game and they play for keeps. It's very real to them. It is real, but it's their world real in a fake way. It's their jurisdiction. It's a faith system. And once you sign up to be a part of their cult or county, country, whatever it is, they play the game. That's what you wanted. Or is it? Hmm. Remember, you have that divine spark in you as a creator. You don't have to do any of my processes. You don't have to do anybody else's processes. Once you know you're made free. If you choose to do one of the steps or whatever else, of course, you're competent. You are competent, aren't you? Legally, are you competent? Once you know what's going on, you can be made free by creating private things that you do not have to register because there is no law that requires registration of anything. unless you choose to be a U.S. citizen, your declaration, and a resident, then yes, in their laws, U.S. citizens, then if you choose to be a U.S. citizen at that point in time, you have the choice of operating as a private sector citizen, which is all synonymous with the word national, national of the United States. You were born that way. You can be either of those. We just usually go by national, whatever. Or, you can elect to be a citizen, which is made by mention in U.S. Code 8 U.S.C. 110122B, A and B. You get to choose which one you want to be. That's what they're telling you. One is public, one is private. And if you prove that you're a resident of the as a U.S. citizen, a federalized state citizen, a federalized citizen of your state, it's probably a better way to say it. then play the game. Don't be mad. Learn how to play it better. Or get played. Your choice, because that's what... This allows and protects you to do. You have the freedom they've just been locking you into a, 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 a feedback loop where they make all the money off of you by keeping you in there. 
you're on the what was it the island of misfit toys or the island of lost boys you're stuck until you learn to utilize your freedom by creating private things private trusts private micro nations and establishing your own system or operating into the private because even the private is its own open free world it's up to you you can do as much or as little as you want but once you know the truth you are made free mm -hmm.